Hey what's up guys, Bullet Blaze here, and I am about to fight the final boss. Who knows who it could possibly be, but I'm feeling a little homesick, so I think... What is this? That's the wrong key. Memories of Veli flood back to you. Oh boy. I think I will return to Veli. In my mind, of course. It's not as if I am physically returning to Veli or anything impossible. Coming from my mind. Vocal percussion on a whole nother level. Wow, it's Veli. I'm so glad that I have this chance to go back and see if there's anything that I missed before I fight the final boss. Because who knows what could possibly happen after that happens. I have no idea. Who knows? Wouldn't it be a great prank if I just reorder this episode to be before the, the finale? <laughs> um, actually, that would be a terrible prank because it wouldn't, it wouldn't line up. It just wouldn't line up. Um, God, I wish I had thought of that, actually. That would have been hilarious. So, on this episode, we are finding the sanctuary, which, um, luckily enough, I know exactly where it is, so we don't have to worry about actually finding anything. And also, I'm invincible, so we don't have to worry about taking damage. Okay, so this is the wrong area. But, um... Trust me, guys, we'll find the sanctuary. Here we go. Hey, look! I'm gonna insert one of these coins here. Tokens, I guess. Medallions. That... I wonder what could help... what that could help out with, maybe. Perhaps, maybe, the opening of a certain door. Somewhere. Okay, I actually have to blow this popsicle stand. So I'm not going to lie, I don't entirely remember exactly the locations of everything, but we'll figure that part out. This is not correct. See, here's the cool thing about this game. Here's the cool thing about invincibility in this game of all things. Die. There we go. Um... Oh, yep, there goes my perfect health record or something like that. It's like I'm trying to remember if I'm remembering the places that the coins go or the places that I find the coins. Um, and I'm not going to lie, it's a little iffy. Ow. And also this is like the hardest area to get through. Which is why invincibility is rad. Um, I don't remember if I even went through all of this before. Definitely yes, but like, what if I haven't? It's like, I want to go slow enough to- No, I've definitely been through here before. That's probably the back to the pirate ship. <laughs> Imagine taking damage. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, that should be to the Mezos Passage, right? Yeah. But I think there might be something up here. That does not even deal all that much damage. Jeez. Oh boy. I just don't want to miss anything. And I know there's going to be something, like, right here, so... I actually need to be kind of careful. Because, again, I don't remember the exact locations of everything. I just know that they're all in the hedge maze. Welcome to Tropos. Stratos, I guess. Tropos is the lower section. Come here, boy! Alright, imagine having to aim. I kind of have to aim a little bit. Oh, wonderful. I did not see them at all. Try it, friend. 
friend. Um, good question. Hold up. Okay, hold on, dude. Gotta actually take me places, pal. Here we are. Yo, that's two out of three, probably. Who would? Who can say? I don't know if I'm gonna actually go through all of the temple today. Um, it's honestly a lot. <laughs> The sanctuary, I mean, we already went through the temple. The temple was something completely different. The sanctuary is honestly kind of a lot. That, this is down to some place that I've already been. Have I been through here? This is, this is one of those weird moments that like, have I been through here? I'm dang sure that I have, but it's like, have I really? Does it matter if I've been through here or not? No, and no, I haven't been through here either. So hey, sanctuary time, my fellas. The only problem with trying to do the sanctuary right now is that again, it's a lot. It's it's a fair bit. But I think I will in fact cram it all into this one episode. Or I could slice it into 10 minutes now and maybe even like up to 20 minutes later just because it's the sanctuary it's it's lore I'm just telling you out right right now it's lore it's a lore episode but it's also my apologies for the massive amount of screen shake that I'm subjecting everybody watching to but I'm not stopping <laughs> it's way faster this way it'd probably be a bit faster if I stopped to eat something Maybe. By maybe, I mean definitely. You actually just straight up fly faster when you're not hungry. Alright. I know the way. The way. Ow. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know the way. <laughs> ah. No, this isn't episode warranting. So I guess we're going into the temple. Let me just, uh, okay, that's the wrong direction. It's the one down here. There we go. This old decrepit looking section. Nice try. <laughs> Let's see what's through here. Oh boy. I really have no clue what could be down here. Um, ah, an inter interesting, a door. Hmm. Stair steps and all that jazz. You know, the kinds of things that owls would use. Hmm. Ooh. Big owl statue, hmm. Ooh, ooh, welcome, friend. Wouldn't it be cool if I could take a screenshot of this or something? Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Except print screen doesn't actually work. The House of Preservation and Diplomacy. What you see before you is my life's work. The Eternal Sanctuary. Ooh. Brightest owl to ever have lived, they say. I hope that knowledge enshrined here may aid you. Hmm. It's a lore episode. It's a lore episode, my fellas. We're doing lore. What up, pal? Oh, hey, it reminds me of a certain someone, sort of. Not not really all that much. We didn't exactly spend too much time with Fib and Bonacci, so. They are sure are an incredible pair. The temple guardians they made, terrifying as they are, have kept the temples completely safe. Make thinking machines. He says he'll put them in... <laughs> no wonder those two are never seen apart. Who else can truly relate? Ah, the curse of genius. Anyway. Oh, bro moment. House of travel. 
for these inventions. Is it not the duty to roam the skies? Hmm. So much for the eternal sanctuary, huh? You didn't really keep that one all that well, huh? Big rip. Imagine losing such important enter so important information to time. A interesting fellow looking there. Hmm. He's been locked up in his lab for ages. He's almost too brilliant. The automatons are revolutionary. Can't imagine what his next discovery may be. Interesting, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Oh, hey. Darn. We have incredible Nocte. Darn. A tree grew through it. Bruh moment. Whoa, dude, it's Osseo, but, like, not really, sometimes. It's pseudo Osseo, what the heck? It looks just like Osseo. This is what knocked a great discovery in the loop. I'm disappointed. It is Osseo! Wow! Of course, Aguilius has taken. I don't know how to say their names, honestly. Even in failure. Goes over my head, he says. Suppose nothing can go over Aguilius' head well with how big it got after he made the atomic. Mm-hmm. If he didn't have a Nocte beside him, he would be no one at all. Bruh. That's a bruh moment. That is real. That is a real Osseo thing to say. <laughs> to an extent. What could be down here? Ooh, boy. It looks kind of dangerous, but I that's never stopped me before. Who could be here? This is a Julius. Whoa, dude, it's a Julius. It's the man himself. The Socrates of owls. Oh. I had it destroyed, but now I've lost my only friend. Dang, bro, that's not cool. It's too complicated. Nocte's schematics, his theorems. I don't understand. This is the best I've been able to come up with. I read the calculations. The chances of catastrophic failure are enormous. If it fails, the planet will never look the same again. Dang, bro. This is a real ethics kind of question. 50-50. That's terrible. Those are terrible chances. Bruh. Dang, man. What a terrible question to have to say. I've decided to lie. Yeah, you would do that, huh? Max machine will be built, and the loop will be broken. You will be my backup plan. I will guide one with my crest to this place to listen to these words. Do not be alarmed. This is within my ability. I see. I only ask. I only ask that you tell no one. So this is... This, the proto solus, I guess. Dang, bro. I can't believe this man doomed the world. Oh, cool, there's something back here. Who would have guessed? This little puzzle is going to take a while. And by take a while, I mean it's not really going to take a while, but like. What if it did? Wouldn't that just suck? See, if I just keep doing this over and over again, it'll eventually um, work itself out. That's just actually how this works. Because this doesn't affect anything but this one, and this one doesn't affect anything at all, so yeah. Ooh, a secret! Secret! This secret. Sort of, not really. This looks kind of important. Who might this be? 
kind of feminine looking. I am not. <coughs> Certainly, you convinced me to leave a message behind. I don't think even a, a Julius knows. But I'm unsure what to say. Interesting. It's never one for talking unless someone can pull the words out of me. Math never lies. Dang straight. Makes predictions. Dang straight. If you master mathematics sufficiently, you will find you can make extraordinary predictions. Okay, Laplace's demon. Sounds about right. The orbits of the stars. I learned those as a boy. Now as my maths is better. As my maths is better. I predicted my own death. That's a bruh moment. Not once, but again and again in infinity. No matter how I adjusted the parameters, I saw my own death there as an eternal wave function over and over. Sad. Interesting. Very life. Even a young owl named Otis who dies in a great battle above a floating city. And yet, my math tells me that you will be here at this hologram. Strange inconsistency. Bro, look at his face. <laughs> anyway, perhaps our hex machine worked after all. Tomorrow is the day that I die, Otis. Dang. I will see you here today. Perhaps in the next loop I will not have to die after all. Maybe then I could spare Julius some grief. Wouldn't that be nice? Bruh. Lore moment. We did it, guys. Also, I can't dash through the room because there's freaking things in the way. Dude. 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 The relics. Dude. Dude, I can't believe Solus. Well, uh, yeah, I can actually. But anyway, dude, now I, now we know the whole story, and that is in fact the entire story of Owlboy. I hope that my pseudo narration was adequate. And on well, there won't be a next episode. I hope you enjoyed Owlboy. I know that I have. Uh, immensely. And next week, we'll be watching something else. Probably, well, I'm not going to get into what it might possibly be, but it'll be interesting to say the least. Um, hmm. It'll probably be something small. But I, I don't know if I actually want to do one of the small games, because then I'm going to get into a, a weird kind of funk with um, where all my all, all the things that I play start at the same time. And that's not, that's not efficient. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe, or you will die at the hands of uh, one of Julius's automatons, which ran amok. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.